All right, fellow X, fellow AMC stockholders, X Max Trading here. Just go over some uh, pretty famous DD that came out last week. I hadn't had a chance to, to go over it just yet from Benzaga. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit a like on that button. Hit the bell notification for new videos, and let's get started. So why AMC Entertainment could, could go bananas? This is September twenty fourth. This is the this is the most surprising article. They're coming out and saying that AMC could rock it up. Earn income stream trading options. Yeah, yeah, whatever. AMC Entertainment was trading slightly lower when the market opened Friday morning at ten fifteen a.m. Bullish volume came in the stock and propped it up. Short interest, short interest on the stock has been increasing as of August thirty first. Number of shares held by shorts is ninety five point ninety five point ninety four million out of a five million float. Meaning 18.76%. The figure is up from 85 million in July. Hmm. Very interesting. The amount of naked shorting on AMC is not included in the number of registered shares held short and could be significant. Naked shorting is an illegal market manipulation tactic where synthetic shares are lent between brokers and large hedge funds. AMC also has a massive amount of trading activity occurring in over the dark pool. The dark pool allows financial institutions and hedge funds to trade anonymously and can be used as a predatory practice. As of Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, over 60% of AMC's trading volume was, was in the, completed in the dark pools. So Benzaga is basically admitting what we, the apes, the apes have, no, have known for a long time. We, ha we have trouble proving because we don't have all the details because they won't release the details from the dark pools. But we knew this and now they're coming out and saying this. They're front running what could be another short squeeze run up. They want to get ahead of this and say, "Oh, we did. We did warn you about it. We did think about. You know, we did think it was going to happen." They don't want to be totally blindsided and say, "Oh, well, we didn't know." So they're not totally. They're not totally freaking useless. The AMC chart after hitting a high of fifty-two point seven nine on September the thirteenth, AMC entered a downtrend, declined twenty-eight percent to low of thirty-seven. The stock then created a double bottom pattern, and the level bounced up ten percent higher. The decline set an AMC stock into a falling channel pattern where it has made a series of lower highs and lower lows between two parallel lines. On Thursday, the stock broke up bullishly from the falling channel, testing the upper descending trend line of the channel as support closed in the trading day above it. On Friday, AMC was holding above the support level of 39.07, possibly consolidating the break of the pattern. I think it closed at $40 last Friday. If AMC is working the bullish trend change, Friday's action may serve as a higher low. Bulls can watch for future trading action to create a higher high above 42. Sideways price movement on low volume indic indicates consolidation as opposed to downward pressure. Bears need to see a break at 39 level and for big for big bearish volume to push the stock. Yeah, like naked shorting. Big bearish volume to push the stock down lower below 37 to break that support below the level into support 3180. Kind of looks like a cup and a handle. I'm trying to wait for this thing to go back up. Learn the strategy, Ben. Yeah, whatever. So it's uh, it's pretty pretty famous. that came out. Then they had this other one that came out a couple days before. What are they hiding? Institutions are trading a ton of AMC stock on dark pool. AMC Entertainment shares are trading. Yeah, Monday, blah blah. blah. In investors might be interested in the fact that six percent of the volume in the last thirty days has been traded institutions of the, over the dark pool compared to forty percent on lip markets, and only eight percent of the four percent trading on, on the NYSE. New York Stock Exchange. The percentage of shorts in the stock is still more than 20%. The flow is uh, 448 million, putting in the amount of shares at over 90 million. And that's Monday's information. The stock looks to be tempted to bounce off support, what technical traders call a pennant pattern. The stock slightly push higher and is now consolidating between narrow highs and narrow lows, if you make it to the trade within support of resistance. So the stock sees above average volume day and can break out. Yeah, by shorts covering. The stock trades. Above the 50 day moving average in green and the 200 moving day average in blue down here, so green and blue, indicating that the stock is likely to face a period of bullish sentiment. Each of these moving averages has, has, may hold as potential areas of support in the future. RSI saw a lot of dip on Monday, now it's at 43, so it's kind of, it's not overbought, it's over, you're not over, uh, oversold. Yeah, it's kind of on the oversold side, not overbought. This means stock has slightly more selling pressure than buying pressure in the past few days. With next for the AMC, bulls or should say apes are looking to see the stock bounce off the pattern support and continue to trade above. If the support can hold, the stock will continue to rise. Where bulls would like to see the stock trade above the pattern of resistance shoot higher. Yeah, yeah, the stock risk lower 
if the shorts began to cover their shares, the stock could see a short squeeze and a large bullish run. Bears will see the pattern, yeah, break out of the pattern of the downside. Pretty interesting stuff, guys. Pretty interesting stuff. I think it's coming up soon. So hope keep our fingers crossed. Not financial advice. So until next time.